For years, China has believed it was the world's number one manufacturing powerhouse, faster, cheaper, and bigger than everyone else. Then Tesla showed up and completely changed what fast really means. Not just 10% faster, not even twice as fast, but so fast it blows away every standard the auto industry has ever known. Elon Musk has said that Tesla can finish a car in under 30 seconds thanks to GigaPress 2.0, this crazy machine that only Tesla has. I mean, getting a car to roll off the production line every 30 seconds is something almost no automaker can do. Even the most efficient factories in China still need almost two minutes to push a new car off the line. Sure, China has hundreds of factories, millions of workers, and lines running 24-7, but that whole system is still built on an old-school model. Lots of steps, lots of people, and tons of chances for things to go wrong. Tesla does the exact opposite. They take people off the line, get rid of hundreds of extra robots, cut out thousands of welds, and the result is a line that's so fast humans aren't even allowed near it. And all of this comes from pushing gigacasting to the limit. Now Tesla has GigaPress 2.0, the wildest machine we've ever seen inside a car factory. It's very different from the older versions, and the way it works is almost hard to imagine. Elon Musk even compared it to making Matchbox toy cars, and he says GigaPress 2.0 will be used for all upcoming models. It's supposed to help Tesla move faster and avoid delays when finishing new vehicles. So, what's really going on inside this machine? How is it different from the ones before? And just how insanely fast is it? The GigaPress is one of the largest die-casting machines in the world right now, and honestly, nothing else comes close to its efficiency in an automotive production line. This thing is about the size of a two-story house and can produce massive EV components in just a few seconds. That's exactly why automakers around the world are willing to spend millions of dollars just to get their hands on one. Most recently, Volvo has rolled out a 9,000-ton GigaPress in Slovakia to seriously boost its manufacturing efficiency. Yeah, Tesla was the very first company in the world to come up with the idea of the GigaPress and also the first to actually put it into car production, basically kicking off a manufacturing revolution that caught every competitor off guard. But Elon Musk hasn't stopped there. He's kept upgrading the machine over and over again, and now the next version is GigaPress 2.0, with a massive 50,000 tons of clamping force. This machine will be used to cast the entire underbody of a new model in a single shot. So how effective is this machine, really? And why do Tesla's new models even need GigaPress 2.0? Yeah, this machine is being built specifically for a new car called the Tesla Model 2, the EV the whole world has been waiting for, which could launch sometime in the middle of next year. And here's the shocking part. The expected price is just around $29,990. Elon Musk has confirmed that the Model 2 is set to become the highest volume vehicle in Tesla's history, with production potentially reaching 30 to 40 million units. That's actually more than the combined total of the Model 3 and Model Y. At first, a lot of people were skeptical and brushed this off as just another one of Elon's big promises. But once Tesla revealed a new generation of GigaPress built specifically for next-gen vehicles, that skepticism started to fade. As for the design, Tesla is keeping things tightly under wraps. Still, all the leaks suggest the Model 2 will be a major surprise, something totally different from what people normally expect from a low-cost car. Musk has even hinted that the production speed of the Model 2 will be way faster than the Model Y, basically opening up a new era of push-button EV manufacturing. Whether you've only been following Tesla for a few months or you've been with them for years, one thing is clear. We've been talking about this affordable Tesla for a long time now. Over and over again, the plan has changed, been canceled, and then brought back. But this time feels different. This time, Elon Musk and Tesla have confirmed that it's really happening. Okay, Model 2 will be built on the same production line as Model 3 and Model Y. But here's the key point. Tesla is not reusing the 6,000-ton GigaPress that was used for Model Y. Instead, they have to move to an entirely new generation of die-casting machines, more powerful and far more ambitious. If you remember, it was the 6,000-ton GigaPress that helped Tesla cut Model Y production costs by up to 40%. More than 70 complex parts were replaced with just two large aluminum alloy castings, combined with a structural battery pack. A true manufacturing revolution. And now, Tesla is ready to recreate and even upgrade this strategy for Model 2. The design of Model 2 reflects this ambition as well, 
The car is more compact than Model 3, with extremely short front and rear overhangs, leaving almost no room for a traditional trunk. This shape is ideal for testing the idea of a single-piece cast underbody. However, there's a problem. The 6,000-ton gigapress used for Model Y simply isn't powerful enough to do this in a single cast. And that's when Tesla unveils the real monster, the next-generation gigapress. This machine can not only cast the entire lower body in one shot, but according to Elon Musk himself, during an all-hands meeting, it can produce five underbody frames in a single casting cycle. If this is true, Model 2's production speed would surpass anything the automotive industry has ever seen. Can you imagine how powerful a 50,000-ton gigapress would actually be? Think of it this way. It's 8.5 times more powerful than the current 6,200-ton gigapress Tesla uses for the Model Y. That means Gigapress 2.0 isn't just larger. It's so efficient that it fundamentally redefines how we think about automotive manufacturing. This technology is especially critical for a compact vehicle like Model 2. With a single casting, Tesla can produce the entire chassis instead of welding together dozens of complex components. The result? A vehicle that's lighter, stiffer, more durable, and produced far faster, eliminating many unnecessary steps and dramatically cutting costs. That's the secret that allows Tesla to push the price down to $29,990, a figure that sounds unrealistic but becomes entirely achievable thanks to this technology. One of the most remarkable aspects of Gigapress 2.0 is the extreme efficiency and precision of its production process. While older generations of the Gigapress can cast only one chassis per cycle, Elon Musk has said this machine can produce as many as five chassis frames in a single casting. Because like then we can make, with a single casting machine, we could do like five at a time or something. If this is proven to be true, Model 2's production speed would surpass anything the automotive industry has ever seen. When you look at Gigapress 2.0, it's not just a massive machine, it's truly a symbol of innovation in automotive manufacturing, fundamentally changing how cars are built. This technology delivers not only incredible production speed, but also helps Tesla optimize costs and raise overall product quality. The Gigapress 2.0 manufacturing process begins with material preparation. Tesla uses high-quality aluminum alloy as the primary material for the die casting process. This aluminum alloy is typically melted at around 850 degrees Celsius in specialized furnaces. Pure aluminum is blended with recycled aluminum from previous castings, creating an ideal aluminum mixture for the casting process. What's especially notable is that Gigapress 2.0 operates with two furnaces running in parallel. One furnace uses natural gas to generate the extremely high temperatures needed to melt the aluminum, while the other uses electric heating to maintain a stable temperature, keeping the aluminum at the ideal thermal level before it is poured into the mold. Using two furnaces not only optimizes the workflow, but also helps prevent oxidation, ensuring the material quality remains at the highest level. Next comes mold preparation and the die casting process. After the aluminum is melted, the mold preparation stage begins. Gigapress 2.0 uses ultra-high precision dyes to form vehicle components. Before each casting cycle, robots spray a thin layer of soybean oil onto the mold surfaces, preventing the metal from sticking and allowing the part to separate easily once the casting is complete. This is a critical step, as it protects the mold from damage and ensures a smoother, more consistent casting process. Next, a vacuum system is used to remove any remaining air from the mold, ensuring optimal casting quality. Once everything is ready, the molten aluminum is transferred into an injection chamber, and a high-speed piston forces the metal into the mold at extremely high velocity in just a few milliseconds. After the aluminum is injected, the cast component remains in the mold until it solidifies. This stage is crucial because the uniformity of the solidification process directly affects the quality of the final product. Once the casting is complete, the part is removed from the mold while still at approximately 500 degrees Celsius and immediately quenched in a cold water bath. This rapid cooling process increases the strength and stiffness of the finished component. By cooling the part this rapidly, Tesla not only saves time but also minimizes defects that could occur during production. The quenching process also ensures the aluminum achieves ideal mechanical properties, such as high tensile strength and optimal surface hardness. 
One of the biggest challenges in this manufacturing process is ensuring that the mold does not crack under the extreme pressure created when molten aluminum is injected at high speed. To address this, GigaPress 2.0 generates an enormous clamping force of up to 50,000 tons, strong enough to keep the mold tightly sealed and free from cracking. This is a critical factor in ensuring consistent quality and defect-free final parts. Once the casting is complete, each part is inspected using X-ray scanning to detect any internal defects. This step is essential to ensure the component meets Tesla's stringent quality standards. One particularly notable aspect of the process is material reuse. After each casting cycle, any excess aluminum is collected and fed back into the recycling process. This not only reduces waste, but also lowers production costs. Everything left over from the casting process is recycled and reused in subsequent cycles, ensuring a sustainable and highly efficient manufacturing system. After the cast components are cooled and pass quality inspection, they move on to the next stage of the production line. There, they are integrated with other components to form the vehicle's complete chassis. With the help of robots, this assembly is performed quickly and with extreme precision, resulting in a strong, stable structure optimized for high volume production. What truly sets GigaPress 2.0 apart is that this process eliminates many of the complex steps found in traditional manufacturing. Most assembly, welding, and machining operations are reduced or removed altogether thanks to large single piece castings, saving time and significantly lowering the risk of errors. Thanks to its revolutionary single piece body design, the Tesla Model 2 has the potential to become the first mass-produced electric vehicle to achieve a milestone never before seen in the automotive industry. An engineer involved in the project revealed that the total number of structural components in Model 2 is only around 90 parts, nearly 60% fewer than the more than 200 structural parts used in the Model Y. This not only simplifies assembly, but also significantly improves manufacturing efficiency. This level of simplification combined with the power of GigaPress 2.0, creates a clear advantage. Model 2's production time will be dramatically faster than that of Model Y, opening the door to large-scale manufacturing at speeds the auto industry has never experienced. However, behind this impressive production line lies a major unanswered question. What will Model 2 actually be like? From exterior design and interior layout to the driving experience Tesla is promising, everything remains a mystery that both the tech community and potential buyers are eagerly waiting to see. While Tesla continues to keep details under wraps, recent leaks and some of our own speculation offer a glimpse into what the future might hold. Of course, for definitive answers, we'll have to wait for a major event in the second quarter next year, when Tesla officially reveals everything. Still. Based on what's been hinted at and predicted so far, we think it's shaping up to be something well worth the wait. Model 2 is expected to be a compact hatchback, completely different from the sedans and SUVs Tesla has developed so far. This would mark Tesla's first entry into the hatchback segment, a category that has become increasingly popular in markets like Europe and China. On the outside, Model 2 will feature a completely new look, unlike anything currently in Tesla's lineup. While it will still retain some familiar Tesla design cues, Model 2 is expected to introduce a distinctly different design language, one that aligns with its goal of being an affordable, mass-market electric vehicle. One notable change is that Tesla is expected to move away from the horizontal light bar design seen on the Model 3 and Model Y. Instead, Model 2 will feature sharper, more powerful headlights, giving it a clearly differentiated and more aggressive appearance. One of the most critical factors in making Model 2 accessible to the masses is battery technology. Model 2 will be equipped with LFP batteries, a lower-cost battery technology that nonetheless delivers surprisingly strong performance. While LFP batteries have traditionally been viewed as having lower energy density than conventional lithium-ion batteries, the latest generation of LFP cells supplied by Cattle is set to change that perception. According to information from Cattle, this new battery not only offers higher energy density, but also supports ultra-fast charging, enabling a driving range of up to 500 miles on a single charge. Moreover, it can charge from 5% to 80% in just 15 minutes even in cold temperatures, allowing Model 2 to maintain strong performance in harsh weather conditions. With its fast charging capability and impressive range, Model 2 could outperform other low-cost electric vehicles currently on the market, 
while also offering long-distance driving without constant range anxiety. An electric car priced under $30,000 yet still capable of delivering around 300 miles of range would be remarkable, and it would make Model 2 an extremely compelling option for consumers. Inside, Model 2 will continue Tesla's minimalist design philosophy. However, in order to reduce production costs, the interior will not be as luxurious as higher-end models like the Model S or Model X. The central control display is expected to be smaller, measuring around 10.5 to 11 inches instead of the 15-inch screens found in Tesla's premium vehicles. That said, this doesn't mean Model 2 will lack the key features Tesla is known for. The smaller touchscreen will still deliver a smooth user experience and support core functions such as voice control, navigation, entertainment, and driver assistance features. However, to keep costs down, Tesla will scale back non-essential features. For example, the seats will likely be cloth instead of vegan synthetic leather, and features like heated seats and a panoramic glass roof will be omitted. Other elements such as the sound system and ambient lighting will also be simplified. Even so, Tesla is expected to retain critical technologies such as autopilot and forward-facing cameras to support advanced driver assistance and future robo-taxi capabilities. This shows that despite being a budget-friendly vehicle, Model 2 will still treat autonomous technology and advanced features as a core part of Tesla's brand DNA. Model 2 will be produced at Tesla's Fremont factory in California, rather than at Giga Texas as originally planned. Fremont is Tesla's oldest manufacturing facility and has extensive experience producing small and mid-sized vehicles such as the Model 3. As a result, Fremont is an ideal location for Model 2 production, allowing Tesla to leverage its most advanced manufacturing technologies for building affordable vehicles. The Fremont plant will also help Tesla better manage risk and rapidly refine its production processes. Manufacturing Model 2 in Fremont enables Tesla to take advantage of domestic manufacturing tax incentives, reduce political and supply chain risks associated with overseas production, and position Model 2 as a made-in-USA electric vehicle tailored to the domestic market. With an expected price of around $30,000, the Tesla Model 2 is poised to become the most affordable electric vehicle in Tesla's lineup, opening the door to EV ownership for millions of consumers. Thanks to its minimalist design and the use of GigaPress 2.0, a groundbreaking die-casting technology, Tesla can produce Model 2 at unprecedented speed and cost efficiency. GigaPress 2.0 significantly shortens production time, lowers manufacturing costs, and improves overall process efficiency by reducing the number of structural components and optimizing the production workflow. Model 2 will not only deliver an affordable electric vehicle, but also preserve the quality and performance Tesla is known for. If successful, Model 2 will represent a major breakthrough in the electric vehicle industry, expanding Tesla's reach to a much broader customer base while strengthening its position in the US, Asian, and European markets. We'll wrap up today's content here. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.